What's going on everyone? I am Jerome. Welcome to the Button and Beans YouTube channel where we are always looking for new games to add to the ever-growing collection. This week we pull up to a new pawn shop, well at least new to me, one that we had never been to in the city of Chandler. We also pull up to Best Buy to find something new to add to the collection. Enough talk, let's go. Here's a prime reason why I go to the pawn shops. We just picked this up on the PS5 for like, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. And here it is at Best Buy for 40. No, thank you. All right, leaving Best Buy. Can you tell what that is? Let's check it out back in the game room. We are back in the game room and checking out everything that we picked up on this most recent pawn shop run. Actually, it wasn't even a run to the pawn shop. We were on our way to Best Buy to pick up something that we ordered and we just happened to stop at this pawn shop. It was called Chandler Pawn and Jewelry in the city of Chandler. Shout out to the guy, Mickey, gave us a great price. Really nice guy and really hooked us up. Let me show you what we got. For the Nintendo Switch, we have my friend Pedro. I've been playing this for the last couple of days. I enjoyed the bullet time aspect, the slow motion. What do they call it in here? Focus, um, where everything just kind of slows down and you're flipping around. I think when I initially saw it, all I saw was a banana. I didn't see any guns and bullets, but anyway. Good game, my friend Pedro. If you have not played this one, pick it up if you get an opportunity to. Far Cry 5 for the PS5. Man of Madon for the PS4. Super massive game. Looks like it's probably in the same realm of Until Dawn. We haven't finished that, and I can promise you that we won't be playing this one anytime soon. Um, I don't know if I'd look this up. I just... Do believe that these three games let me tell you what they have in price for this was marked for eight this one did not have a price on it and my friend pedro was marked for 20. so when i asked him what he could do in my mind i was thinking oh man we probably have to go like 30 35 i give him 10 a piece i'd be a happy guy especially with this one being marked for 20. but he ended up saying 20 bucks for these three not only did he say that he said i also have these new games he pulled out New games he pulled out were Madden 24, still sealed, which I was like, no thank you. But then he pulled out Horizon, Forbidden West, Complete Edition, sealed, another 20 bucks. So for 40 bucks, we picked up these four games. This is already sold on eBay. I have this on the PS5, not the Complete Edition. We have the uh, Launch Edition, which is good enough for me. We'll go ahead and get, well, go ahead. We got this sold on eBay. So this is on its way out the door today. Well, some solid pickups. I mean, we're up. We can, that was that was like 50 bucks, maybe maybe closer to 45 after shipping and all of that good stuff. Um, but we only paid 40, so we got all of that back. We can just keep these. I, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna hold on to these. I don't have any um, desire or, or want to play either of these two right now, but this one is definitely, definitely being added to the collection. My friend Pedro is, it's fun as shit. <laughs> I gotta stop cussing on it, my bad. This is an excellent game, very enjoyable. Play with your friends, and, but don't play with the kiddos because it is definitely a mature game. A lot of blood, a lot of violence, but a lot of entertainment as well. As far as Far Cry 6 and Man of Madon, we'll add these to the collection because why not? Um, that may very well change before I finish this video. So don't hold me to anything because I'm telling you right now I'm keeping them, but I'm also telling you right now that they might get sold. So we'll see how it goes. But if you're ever in the Chandler area, be sure to check out Chandler Pond and Jewelry. Again, the guy Mickey, real cool guy. 
Um, there was a PSP there, Star Wars edition. I might not even put this out until I go back and get it. <laughs> now, for the new hotness, shout out to my boy Zach. He hit me on a text and said, hey, if you haven't picked this up yet, hurry up. I just got the last one from the GameStop in my neighborhood. So I immediately hopped online, jumped on Best Buy, and put an order in for this Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Now I know there's been a bunch of videos on YouTube of unboxing these. So if you want to know what's inside here, if you want to see it up close, go watch one of those. This is not getting open. I'm putting this right back on the shelf. I can tell you what's in there, but I'll, I'll do that for you. It includes the game, a replica game pack, a pin set, and art cards. I'll let you see that right there. But yeah, man, this one is gonna stay sealed for quite some time. We're gonna put this on the Switch shelf right now. There it is, don't move. Yeah, man, a bunch of people open them. Yeah, if you wanna see an unboxing, go watch somebody else's. That's, I'm not, I'm not linking anybody else's or telling you not to finish this one, but I'm telling you that I'm not opening that joint, so. If you came to see an unboxing of that, I'm about to be so sad. Let me show you what else I picked up real quick. I'll bust this bag open. We stopped at the Salvation Army. There's so much trash in that bag. <laughs> Cleaned out the back seat. Anyway, Salvation Army, 37 bucks for everything. I kind of feel like I overpaid. Avatar on Blu-ray. Volume 3 of Aqua Team Hunger Force. And Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Family Guy. Now, I do, I'm pretty sure we have some of these down here already, but they're not in the great, or they're not in the best condition. These are really clean, so I'm a fan of animation. Family Guy, American Dad, Rick and Morty, Archer. So it's hard to pass these up. They were like four bucks a piece, so I just grabbed them. They also had a bunch of games, which I was pleasantly surprised. Um, they even had a seal game. Yeah, brand new, it was sealed, but it was, I think it was FIFA 20 or something. So I just left it there. Somebody else will be probably just as surprised as I was to see it and then leave it there again. <laughs> At some point, somebody will pick it up. But let me show you what I did pick up. NBA 2K10, this is... I'm confident around here somewhere already, but anytime I see Mamba, I'm, I'm picking this up. The 2010 FIFA World Cup, South Africa. Again, this was just something I don't see all the time, and we only get a World Cup every four years, so. Complete with the manual, I believe it was three, maybe four bucks. Just another one to just add. We also have I think around September we're gonna have a yard sale going on around here so a lot of this stuff if I decide I want to keep it I'm pretty sure I can just sell them for five bucks and we'll get our money back here we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix for the Xbox 360 Minecraft Xbox 360 edition and the final game we picked up Connect Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure. Not a bad stop at the Salvation Army. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was from these pickups. Uh, for me, easily the Nintendo World Championship box. And I say box because it's gonna stay on the shelf for a little bit. Um, other than that, it's pretty cool to find a sealed game at the pawn shop, especially something of this quality. And to get it for 20 bucks, definite win we have to we sold this and it helped to pay for everything else that we decided to keep so happy about that for sure that's going to do it for this week thank you for taking the time out to watch if you haven't done so already be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and turn on the bell for notifications i try to drop these every week but i'm not consistent so make sure you have those notifications on so you'll be alerted when the new video drops alert it so you can receive the alert just turn on the bell, bro. Till next time. Go. Oh, damn.
with the fumble on the way out. 